Yes, you read the title right. I'm buying a REIT that has an 18% dividend yield and I'm not alone to buy it. The CEO of the company also recently bought nearly 1 million worth of shares. Now it goes without saying that there's no such things as a safe 18% dividend yield. On the contrary, this is one of the most speculative REIT investments that I've ever made. I think that the risk of a dividend cut is really high, but despite that, I like the risk to reward here because the company is so heavily discounted. Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run an investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about my highest yielding REIT. Its name is Unity Group, ticker symbol UNIT. But before I get into it, if you could please make me a favor and like this video, it will help me a lot. Thank you very much. So Unit is an infrastructure REIT, just like American Tower and Crown Castle. But instead of investing in cell towers, it invests in fiber infrastructure. It owns a vast network that generate recession resistant and cash flow. This cash flow is very consistent and predictable because it has long-term leases. And so typically this type of REIT will command fairly high valuations because again, the cash flow is very consistent. Uh, it's also inflation proof. And, and so the market tends to like these REITs. But this isn't the case here. Unit is priced at an extremely low valuation of just around two and a half times its annual cash flow and its dividend yield is 18%. Why is it priced at such a low valuation? Well, there are two main reasons. The first reason is that Unity has an ongoing dispute with its biggest tenant, Windstream, that generate most of its cash flow today. This situation is really complex and I'm currently working on a separate video covering it and so I'll stick to the basics here. In short, its tenant is arguing that its current lease is way above market and that as it expires, it's going to be able to renegotiate a much lower rent. Unity, of course, doesn't agree with this. It believes that its current lease is fair to the current market conditions and the value of the assets. And so it has previously argued that as its lease expires, we can expect the rent levels to remain more or less the same as the current one. Ultimately, I think that both parties are going to have to come to some sort of compromise because they are heavily dependent on one another. Windstream, the tenant, needs the assets of Unity and Unity needs to find an operator for these assets. As far as we know, Windstream, the tenant, has been able to profitably run these assets with the current lease and so I wouldn't expect a very material drop in the rent level. But the good thing here is that even if we are wrong, the lease still has seven years on it with annual escalations and so the cash flow is going to be very consistent and predictable for the next seven years. But this isn't the only reason why Unit is discounted. Still recently, share price was around 12, 13, 14 dollars per share, but currently is at three dollars. So what happened here? And so here comes the second reason why Unity is so heavily discounted. The company recently issued its guidance for 2023 and it shows that its cash flow is going to decline very significantly. And this is happening right at a time when its leverage is high and we're going through a banking crisis. This got the market really concerned and drove its share price down from around $12 all the way to $3 today. The expected drop in its cash flow is quite significant. I'll put a chart on the screen. But the good news here is that this drop in cash flow is mainly the result of increased interest expense and not the result of operational difficulties. The company's interest expense is going up a lot because it recently did many refinancings to push its debt maturities further into the future. It comes with a steep cost in today's environment. But on the flip side, now the company has no major debt maturities for four years. I think that this trade-off of having higher interest expense but no near-term debt maturities is well worth it, especially in today's environment with the banking crisis that we're going through. And perhaps the market might have overlooked this because its share price has been declined very heavily over the past days as if it was still facing near-term debt maturities when in reality this isn't the case. So here we are today. Yes, Unity's cash flow is declining. Yes, it has an ongoing dispute with its biggest tenant. Obviously, this is causing a lot of risks and uncertainty, especially since the company is quite heavily leveraged. But here you have to ask yourself, how much are you paying for it? The market is today pricing the company at just two and a half times its cash flow, which is one of the lowest, if not the lowest valuation on an FFO multiple basis in the entire REIT market. The company has stable cash flow. It has no debt maturities for four years to come. It now has plenty of time to deleverage its balance sheet, keep diversifying its business away from its biggest tenant. And ultimately, I think that this is eventually going to warrant a higher FFO multiple. 
If the company is multiple expanded to just five times, its share price would double. And uh, while you wait, the company is today paying an 18% dividend yield. Now, I want to remind you that there is no such thing as a safe 18% dividend yield. Uh, the company could at any time uh, cut or fully eliminate the dividend if it wanted to accelerate its deleveraging even further. But for now, the company can keep funding its dividend. The payout ratio is just around 40%, which is relatively low for REIT. And if you listen to the recent remarks of the CEO on their latest conference call, it sure doesn't seem like they plan to cut the dividend anytime soon. Here's what the CEO recently said. I mean, we are under pressure like a lot of high yield stocks. But despite that, we are paying a nice steady return to our shareholders. I'd like to get to a place where we have the flexibility to raise the dividend and be more of a dividend growth story. And I think there's a time when that will come. The CEO here appears to be hinting at a dividend hike. To be fair, I think that a dividend hike is very unrealistic. Uh, it would be imprudent for the company. I would much rather see them deleverage their balance sheet and diversify further their business away from windstream. But the point here is simply that we are not talking about uh, an elimination of the dividend and at this point, despite it being a risk. The CEO of the company actually just recently bought nearly $1 million worth of shares with his own money and so he clearly appears to think that the dividend is sustainable or that at the very least he has a good path forward to create value for shareholders. So these are all the reasons why I think that Unity is quite attractive today as a speculative investment in the, in the REIT sector. Now keep in mind that this is a very small position for me. To repeat one last time, this is high risk, high reward. It's not impossible that you lose it all investing in this stock. Uh, if some major risk factors play out at some point in the future, this is a heavily leveraged play on a real asset company that's going through some difficulties. But again, you have to see the flip side. Uh, the valuation is so heavily discounted, the yield is so high that the risk to reward is what I like here. Now, if you want to learn more about what else I'm buying, feel free to join my rate newsletter for a two-week free trial. I'll put a link in the description. And otherwise, if you could please like this video, subscribe to the channel. It will help me a lot. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.